Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Silly here. And in this video today, I'm going to cover nine tips how you can reduce cell phone radiation. If you go, for example, in this iPhone to settings and legal RF exposure, the actual company tells you legally not to use the phone two millimeters close to your body. But guess what? How is the whole world using their phone on the body? So this phone is emitting very high levels of radio frequency, the same frequency used in your microwave. So this is emitting microwave frequencies radiation. I'm going to be using for the purpose of testing an EMF fields acoustometer, which is a wonderful RF meter for the purpose of showing you uh, how you can reduce the radiation from your phone. So let's jump into it. Tip number one, and I'm holding an RF meter next to the phone so you can see how much it may emit. As you can see right now, it's jumping to very, very high levels at the peak of the meter remains going down because the phone is talking to um, the cell tower. So the first tip is simply put the phone on airplane mode if you are not going to need to use it to make phone calls or SMS. And look at the meter, how it goes to zero almost once the phone is on airplane mode. So when the phone is on airplane mode, it's making sure it's not emitting something. And that's one of the best things you can do to really reduce your radiation from the phone. Tip number two. So right now the phone is on airplane mode. However, this is not enough to completely bulletproof your phone from EMF exposure. The next thing you want to do is actually shut off location services, which is using GPS, Bluetooth and crowdsource Wi-Fi hotspot and cell towers to actually decide where you are. So it's not a meeting as high as when the phone is off airplane mode. However, when you go and use your navigation um, software, as you can see, it's emitting something. And when you're using your phone in your car, it is still searching for cell towers on a regular basis. So if you have no use for this, you can literally go and all you can do is shut off your location services. And in this case, the phone will emit less radiation, especially if you don't really need those location services. Tip number three. Um, I love using the phone. I love technology as much as any other person. So what I do in the house, I literally connect an ethernet cable through an adapter. It's just a regular adapter which goes into ethernet to the phone. And then I can still have internet. I can still use WhatsApp. I can still use social media in my comfort of the house. So I just plug it in. And I can use uh, WhatsApp, I can still use social media, I can do, look at videos, and that's the same with your phone as well as your gadgets, your iPad. Um, really anything that you can put airplane mode, especially from Apple, also Android, you can just plug it in. And in this case, still enjoy the benefits which the internet offers, but without any radio frequency exposure. Uh, as you can see, the meter is on zero. So I'm in a room with no radio frequencies in this spot, and it's not emitting anything when you connect the cable to the phone. Tip number four. So if you do decide to put your phone on airplane mode uh, for most of the day, and then just turn on the phone when you wanna use it, whether it's a short period of time or the day, a very, very important tip to reduce the radiation is specifically when the phone is going off airplane mode, it's emitting the most amount of radiation because it's searching actively for the cell towers. And when the phone is searching for the cell tower, it will emit more radio frequencies. So the best thing to do is once you do go off airplane mode, you need to make a phone call, you need to do something SMS, call an Uber, really anything which you do need to use your phone, make sure to step away from the phone for a period of time and then go back and use it. Because otherwise you will expose yourself to very, very high levels of radiation from your phone. 
So in this case, I'm gonna go with airplane mode and I will step away and you'll see on the meter how much it's emitting. Right away, it's going to peak. It's on red, it can be seen on the video. Um, look how high it is. And all I've done is go off airplane mode. So, and then it goes a bit down, as you can see. Uh, and then it will go a bit up because it's not stable. But once you go off airplane mode, it's a very good thing to simply step away. Don't hold your phone in the hands because then you will expose yourself even more uh, and you think you're doing a good thing because you're in airplane mode and when, it's, when you go off airplane mode, it's emitting the most radiation again because it's searching for cell towers. Tip number five is simply put your phone um, away. Put it in the bag. Don't hold it next to your body. Look how much it's emitting when it's really close to the meter. It's still pretty high, um, as you can see when it's close. Um, so really the best tip is just hold the phone as far as possible. Distance is your friend. Put it in your bag, put it like in some corner, just don't hold it next to your body. So if you are gonna use your phone and it's actively something you need, so just put it further from the body and this will reduce the amount of radiation you're exposed to. Tip number six, uh, if you still need to use your phone, uh, and you just need to get SMS and phone calls, one cool trick you can do is literally disable the cellular data. Now I want you to see what happens when I go off cellular data. I just turn on and right away the meter is speaking. So this is a really, really cool way to still use a phone but reduce the radiation you're using. Tip number seven. So. If you still wanna use your navigation, which is an amazing feature on the phone, one thing you can do, you can go to maps and download where you wanna go. You do directions, you do route. Location services is off, right? So what you can do, you can download the required um, path you want to do in your GPS. Let me turn location services and then put the phone on airplane mode, but keep it. Let's search again. Starting route to 390 Orchard Lane. Great. So you can let the, the, the phone download it. So when you're driving, if you still need to use the GPS, download everything to the map. And once it's downloaded, go on airplane mode. Now you still need to keep the location services on, but in this case, after you download it throughout your whole ride, you don't need to use um, the connection. As you can see, it will drastically lower the radiation. Just download the path you need, keep location services, and you can still use the GPS, which is an amazing feature of the phone, but you will not be exposed as much when driving. And similarly, when you go off airplane mode, when you drive, the phone is emitting the most amount of radio frequencies because it's changing towers. It's searching for new cell towers uh, when you're driving, and then it will emit more radio frequencies accordingly. So that's a great way to still use a navigation, but as you can see, the phone is not emitting almost anything. The, the meter is not picking up um, anything. When your phone has low reception, in this case, uh, there's only two lines, especially in those cases when the phone has less reception, put it away or go on airplane mode. Uh, because when the phone has less reception, as you can see from the video, it will emit much more. The meter goes to peak every single time. Now, it's better for your phone to actually be on three, four, or five lines with the reception because then there is a better connection to the cell tower and then accordingly the phone will be emitting less. So for this tip, simply notice if you're in a low signal environment, don't force yourself to make phone calls. Just wait until you're in a better reception, uh, literally just go on airplane mode and wait until you're in a place with better reception. This will be um, 
a great way for you to reduce uh, the radiation you're exposing yourself from the phone. Tip number nine, use your phone with actual earphones whenever you're making any kind of phone call. So instead of holding your phone next to your head, right now it's on airplane mode, don't worry, use earphones and hold your phone as far as possible from you. So even right now in this video, the difference between holding the phone on your head or holding it further with my hand is a 99 reduction on the exposure in the body. It's a big difference. So using earphones, I am using specifically our own EMF protector, air tube radiation free earphones, which as you can see, the last part is only air. So there are no magnetic fields, which are also going to my brain. And that's the recommended earphones we suggest to use day to day. If you don't have any earphones, you can simply use the phone on speaker mode. The idea and the most important thing is to use the phone as far as possible from your body, especially when you're making any kind of phone call. So that's it. Those are the nine tips I recommend to implement so you can actually reduce the cell phone radiation. I really hope you've enjoyed the content and enjoyed the tips and i look forward hearing in the comments below how is your life any different by implementing any of those tips if you have any questions anything just post below in the comments don't forget to subscribe to our channel here below as well for more emf related education and emf related tips for how you can reduce your emf exposure so you can live a more healthy and better life see you in the next video